Hey guys and welcome to another Dragon Village collection video. In today's video I'll be ha having a look at the update coming tomorrow. We also have a post about the event, that's why you see a second tab at the top. So we'll first go into the patch note and then we'll go into the event. So we get a new exploration area. Oh, I'm really happy with that. Okay, so submarine volcano is opening. It's at, at the bottom left. And we get some new dragons with it. We get a new help request dragons, exploration area, dragons, a stellar temple. That's actually really nice. So the exploration area, we get Koala, Venom Dragon, Hemagon, Life River, Trophaeus. I know that one from Dragon Village Mobile. Rosalka, Auros, Puffergold, Puffergold D, excuse me. Coral Nasty Big, Fatella, Fairy Dragon, New Form. Excited to that. In the Estella Temple, we get Naga, Mani, Mikala, Poseidon, which I also know from Dragon Village Mobile, and Megalodon, which means we get new Estella Guardians. We get Falcon and Enix. We get a new Folktale Dragon, Linu. As well as the whole help request is the Wheel Dragon. And then we have an event Smart Dragon New Form. And then the treasure hidden in the book Smart Dragon event begins. So it's gonna start as soon as tomorrow as well, if I read that correctly. And this is how it looks with a special personality. Looks amazing. And then some packages. Which I'm not going to go too much in detail. If you're interested in buying these packages. Just look at the in-game shop. Or just pause my video for a moment. Added new quests. As Deep Sea main quest expanded. Meet the story of the new Guardian Dragons, Falcon and Enix. We got two folk tales added. So beside this one from Linu. We got another one. Um... Added personality helper system. So as, as you may remember, I made a post that they were changing the personalities. Um, later on they said, you know what, never mind that. Um, and they just got the personality helper. And as far as I know, everything they said about some become easy or not, as far as I know, it doesn't go through at all. So I can work on my personality video again. Okay, so personality help system is added to preview aspects related to dragon personality and personalities that can be manifested. Personality help allows you to see the dragon's personality condition and what personality can be manifested as the dragon grows. After the addition of the personality helper, the conditions for the newly updated personality will not be disclosed for 30 days after the update. Oh, some will be updated. They are really making this hard for me. So, it will take 30 days for the game to themselves to say, like, these are the requirements for the personalities. But I know in the meanwhile, the Discord as well as the uh, Wikipedia will have everything updated. So, I might have the full video up within that time. But I'm not sure. It all depends on the people, actually. There may be an issue with the personality helper displaying differences from the expected personality. Okay, so there is a bit of an issue already. Uh, is precise an aspect related to the expected personality will be displayed correctly? So everything is in, I think this is Japanese. Um, so if you go to the little window, it's at the bottom. And then you get these little windows. I'm not sure what... I'm assuming the right one is like what you achieved and like the uh, um, amount of requirements. And here's an actual preview for the personality as well. And a search bar, which I'm actually happy about. Add a digital card book system. That's actually really nice. A digital card book system allow is added that allows you to collect dragon cards in game that can be 
can be collected excuse me when purchasing a card pack every time a dragon card code is entered in a game a digital card will be disturbed distributed and a digital card will be collected separately in the game and may acquire as a different card than the physical card uh, it starts from volume pack 3 so the one with the deep sea area if you already redeemed your code during the maintenance you will receive a digital card that matches the number of codes you redeemed okay so if you did one pack you get four cards if you did one box you get 120 if you did one carton you get 3600 we got some new triumphs normal and hidden triumphs are added five new bonds added a requirement to enter exploration area each area will be changed to allow entry according to the number of dragon acquisitions the entry requirements apply from account created after the maintenance Okay, so if you have your um, account right now, if I, if I understand it correctly, then you don't have to worry. But if you're creating a new account bef after the maintenance, then you have that. So we have, we have some item improvements. Wanderer ticket always on sale. Glutinous Moonpiece adjusted off mileage price reduction. So instead of 750, it's only 550. So... 200 mileage points cheaper and tamers who bought it will get it refunded so if you have bought it you will get your points back improvement is the utica main quest instead of one utica dragon equal or more to hatch stage is now four equal or more to egg stage touch the quest title on the main screen will direct you to the corresponding quests a menu is added to see the roster big can be obtained according to the ancient Estella Guardian you accompany when entering the Estella Temple. An improved screen effect when you fill the acquired dragon in exploration. And then some bug fixes with Skylancer. Okay, let's now go to the event. Okay, so indeed the event will start tomorrow and will be there for 12 days. So you have 12 days to complete this event. During this event you can get Key of Astronomy through missions. You can earn rewards in the title's Tile Selection Treasure Hunt with the Keys of Astronomy you earned. You can select tiles within the event page. You will earn one of the Super Rare, Rare, Normal, Great Reward from selecting a tile. There are a total of 25. You can move on to the next stage where you get super rare great rewards. If you move to a new stage, all tasks selected in the previous stage will be initialized. I'm not sure what that means. I think reset, but I'm not sure. Every five stages, you can choose the rewards you want before the start of the stage. And you can definitely get the rewards you choose when you acquire a super great reward. That's pretty nice. And 25 tiles can be obtained by fixed quantity for each grade. So super rare grade 1 tile, rare grade 2 tiles, normal grade 22. When you select tiles to earn rewards, you earn event points based on the probability below. 1 score is 60%, 2 score is 30%, and 3 score is 10%. Then we also have a ranking system. So we have Astronomer Smart Dragon Special Nickname Frame, which is um, only for the top 10. And then you have Astronomer Smart Dragon Nickname Frame for the uh, 11 till 1000. You have a title Spectular Reading King, Reading King, excuse me, um, that will also be for the top 1000. Oh, uh, top 5,000, excuse me. I misread that. Uh, we, you get a badge protagonist to the story in the book that's up to 5,000 as well. And then Dragon Shelter, Ticket and Brutus, depending on where you rank. So if you want to get the special frame, you have to be in the top 10. For the title, um, you can be in the 
top 5000 as well as for the badge so if you can't make it to the top 10 you still get a different frame um, title and a badge the different frame is only to 1000 to be clear but if you land up to 5000 you at least still get the title and badge so if you're beyond 5000 you don't get that so yeah That was it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Hit the notification button to be notified whenever a new video goes live. In the description down below, a referral code. If you use that, thank you very much. As well as a link to my Discord if you'd like to join. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.